hello everyone and welcome back to my channel I'm coming to you today with a tutorial on a natural glam look so I've already done one eye and I'm going to do the other and let's jump right into it so I'm going to be using the kiss nude seduction palette starting off priming my eye with the primer that's on the inside so let me do that I'm going to zoom in as well not out but in okie dokie artichokey so now still using that same palette I'm going to take a blending brush and go in with this color brown I'm just going to use that as an all over transition color just so that when I go to put down my primary transition colors they'll be easy to blend for me so just kind of lay this down as a base now I'm going to go into my coastal scents palette beginning with my harvest brown lay that down right here and so the next color is going to be burnt umber also by coastal scents I hope I'm in focus so you all can see me okay so now going in with burnt umber just taking that down just a smidge from where I laid down the harvest brown okay now I'm going to take a more tapered blending brush and I'm going to go into chocolate tear which is also by coastal scents and put that like right here in the crease now with my fluffy blending brush I'm just going to blend that in because I don't want any harsh lines whatsoever now I'm going to go back to that kiss palette and there's this really pretty pinkish new color just going to go in with that with an eyeshadow brush and pack that onto the lid so this look is very simple so it can be for every day or if you don't really wear makeup like that then this can be a more glamorous type of look for you so I'm going to go back in with my tapered blending brush going back into my coastal scents palette and I'm going to pick up burnished brunette which is a really really dark brown and I'm going to place that right onto the outer corner of the eye going into the crease as well just to add a little bit more dimension and depth to the eye okay now I'm going to go with my fluffy blending brush and just blend that in because I don't want any harsh lines whatsoever okay so now I'm going to go in with my wet n wild mega liner and this is the color of dark brown I really like this just a very very fine tip I'm just gonna wink it out just a little bit just small strokes Alright, just going to go back into my liner. Just getting a little dry to go in just for a little bit more, just so I can put that wing on that liner. Just a straight line, and then I'm going to go back in and connect it. Mm 
And that's pretty much it. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, throw all the ashes. I should let that dry a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to curl my eyelash. Or eyelashes, I've got more than one. And go in with my cover girl bombshell volume mascara size one and size two. So I'm just going to do size one only because I am going to be putting on my false lashes. Alright, cool beans, that's enough. And so, what I'm going to do is come right back. I'm going to go put on my foundation, put on my concealer, and then I'll come and finish the rest of the face on camera as well as putting on the other eyelash. So, be right back. Alright everybody, so I am back and I did go ahead and put on my foundation, my concealer, and I set my concealer. I used my Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, number 260, Caramel. Used that with this foundation brush that I got from RC Cosmetics. And for my concealer, I used my Hard Candy Glamouflage. That's in the color of tan and I like to apply my concealer with a foundation brush so I just put that on, blend that in really well with that and then of course followed up with a damp beauty blender sponge. Just one of those and I set my concealer with my Midnight Banana Powder and of course just a latex cosmetic sponge. So I have not wiped off the excess. I'm going to do that in just a moment here. So I'm just going to grab my e.l.f. flat top brush and I'm going to just blend out that excess powder and hopefully it'll come off considering I've had it on my face for a while. So let's see here. Just blend out the excess. So it did put it on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, here on my cupid's bow, right here on the chin, and of course under the eye and down the cheekbone here. And because as you already know, I have a complex with this brush, I'm going to go in with a different brush to get the rest from underneath my eyes here. And this brush here. I think I may have gotten it in a set from Michaels or either Hobby Lobby, one of those stores. And you guys, I keep forgetting to put on my brow bone color. So I'm just going to go in back into that Kiss palette. Got to find a brush. Okay, here's my brush. And I'm just going to go in with this color here. Sorry, I didn't mean to give you the finger, but that's the color I'm going to go in with and put it right here. Just the nude color there. All right, that's cool. So now I'm going to contour my face. So just gonna go in, as you already know, my Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder and Cognac. And I guess I'll use this brush here. So I'm just going to, and sorry, so very sorry for making so much noise. I've got my microphone like right here on the table. Bad idea. <laughs> so if you see here clinking and all that stuff, yeah, it's because my microphone's right there. So I'm just gonna shade in forehead and all that good stuff. I guess I'm gonna zoom in just a tad bit. Make sure I'm still in focus. Let's put that down there. Why do I have this? I am tripping. 
go here. I'm carving out my cheekbones here, considering I kind of look ghostly. So I need to add some color back into my life. And of course I'm going to blend that out. Pull these braids back so there we go. Sorry. Going with just a different brush here. Don't worry, I'll make sure everything flows together. I definitely don't want to look ghostly. And I don't want to look draggish either. So now I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. contour brush and I like to use this brush to apply the makeup down the bridge or down the sides of the bridge of my nose here. Just blend that in. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my blush using this e.l.f. blush brush. And I'm going in with a NYX, let's zoom out, with a NYX blush, and this is in the color of Desert Rose. Pretty, very, very pretty. And this is very pigmented, so I'm only going to use a tad bit. So, placing that right here and on the apple of my cheek, I'm just going to blend that into the contour. And just upward just a little bit into the hairline. And to the other side. I think I picked up too much that time. And I need a mirror. So let's see here. Hope you all can see the pigmentation of this blush. It's very pretty. Okay. That looks okay. So now I'm going to use some bronzer on my face, but I'm using it. And this is the Betty Lou Manizer from The Balm. I'm going to use that here and here, here, up here, there and here, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to take this tapered brush from e.l.f. And they call it a small taper. Nothing small about this brush. So it's going in and picking up some of that bronzer. And oh, that has a mirror. That's sad. <laughs> Just gonna go in and put that here. And set under there as well. And this gives a really nice glow. See, I can't really use this as a contour because I'm kind of I think that color somewhere around that color and do the same on the other side alrighty and so now just taking a little bit of that just going down the bridge of the nose tap bit here keep it spell not putting any more on so just buffing in what's left on this brush on my chin and just going back in just a tad bit to put some right here onto the forehead cool 
com dentes. And so, now I need to set everything. So now I'm going to set my face here with Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep using this brush here. Just want to go in. I don't want to use too much. Just going to go in and put this on and make everything blend in nicely. Going back in and back in again. This brush, I love this brush. It's so soft. Okay, so that looks pretty decent. I've got to also put on my eyelash, which I'm just using a really natural looking lash. It's not too long, not too short. Not too full, but it's just right. So I'm going to go in with my Eye Envy, which is by Kiss, the 16 hour strip adhesive. And I'm just going to put a little bit of that. And I love this glue because it actually it gets tacky really, really quick. So I'm just going to let that get a little tacky. And while I'm waiting on that, I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush because I forgot to grab a smudge brush. And I'm going to go in with, I guess I'll do Chocolatier. And I'm going to do that just like right down at the bottom lash line here. Give a little bit more color and it's cool now I'm gonna go in and put this eyelash on there it is no it's not wait a minute I thought I had it Oop. now there it is okie dokie and now back with my mascaras because I didn't put any mascara on the bottom lashes. There's the side one of my mascara. And now I'm going to go in with side two of the mascara. Big a lot of a mess here. Okay. Now I'm gonna do my lips, and I'm just going to do lip pencil and lip glosses today. I'm gonna go in with this Kiss New York Luxury Lip Pencil in the color of Roasted Coffee. Very pretty brown. Line. So then it's so smooth. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of blend that in a little bit. Hope I just sounded as if I were speaking English. Blend that in just a little bit. Right on. So now I want to go in with my first lip gloss, which is NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the color of Miami Babe. So just a nude pink.
Mm-hmm. So there's that. And then I'm going to take, sorry about the noise, I'm going to take my steak lousy. And this is by Rimmel. And this is in the color of I don't know. <laughs> what is the name of this color? I don't know. It was on the sticker that was like on there. It just says something and then glamour. I don't know. Nonstop glamour. Got it. Nonstop glamour. I just hit that here. And that's it. Mm hmm. All right, all right, all right. And so that is the finished look for the natural glam. So we've got some natural colored lips, a neutral eye, just a nice rosy pink cheek with some bronzer. And at this point, I would normally take my e.l.f. setting spray and spray my face, but I'm not going to do that just because it's late and I'm not going anywhere. So this is the finished look everyone and I do hope you liked it. I do hope it was easy to follow and if you've got any questions, comments, concerns, please leave down below and I will get back with you as soon as I possibly can. And that just sound like voicemail but let me know what you think. I would greatly appreciate it and if God allows it we'll do it again. So until next time, take care. Bye bye. Say bye-bye.